cool. Hey, this is this is the selling feature of the house. Wow. Okay, I apologize about the delay in getting videos. This is going to be uh, very short. Um, we've been in the process of trying to move, uh, believe it or not. Probably the worst time in history, one of the worst times in history to, to try to move. But uh, we are—we have been traveling cross-country, looking at properties, different uh, things. So I plan on making a segment on buying rural land, uh, what to look for, like things, because... Uh, a lot of things, this property that we have currently right now are 40 acres. Um, we did a lot of, had a lot of checklists when we bought this land. And now we're looking for, I guess, more rural, I guess, is the best way to say it. Um, our area is just getting busier and busier. Um, you know, they're building houses everywhere. And anywhere there used to be a 40 acre lot, they're splitting it up 10 ways, making, you know, a subdivision or splitting it up and just you know, putting in houses here and there. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's like, uh, we're going to be like, um, I ha granted, my two neighbors right now have well over 100 acres on either side of me, but uh, across the street, the other direction, uh, they're, they're just building houses everywhere. I mean, they're, it's, it's, it's crazy. There's, we're going to be, in the future, I feel like we're going to be like Central Park, a beautiful oasis surrounded by people. Um, you know, just, and, I want to be a little bit further away, so that is our plan. Uh, we've been putting, you know, every other weekend a couple thousand miles driving around country, you know, trying to find the best uh, housing market. It's horrible. Um, you know, it's it's just uh, the good thing is our area where we're at, uh, because it's so populated. There's so many jobs. There's so much. Stuff, our property value has gone up, so that's going to help us. And uh, we're trying to get, uh, you know do that so uh yeah it's just uh there's, there's a lot of things you know looking at land you know uh the checklist of what you need you know wants and needs um uh, needs versus wants you know because there's um one of the things we like is the long driveway you know from the road because that road that is not busy now may get busy in the future um our mailbox it is on the same side as our property we don't have to cross the street you know, it's not a big deal now, but when I'm 90 years old and I got to cross the street, I'm going to get hit by a electric car that I don't hear, you know. Um, lots of things, you know. Uh, what kind of predators? You know, we have chickens, we have bees, we have goats, you know, uh, predators. Uh, water, floodplains. Um, you know, our current property has a big floodplain. Nowhere near the house, though. Not a big deal. Uh, it's never been a problem. Even in the biggest flood of this area uh, was never a problem. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Many things, though, you know, um, you know, your neighbors. We looked at a property. It was epic property. I was literally going to sell a kidney and just say, let's buy the, you know, this is the one. And then while we were there, the driveway had an easement, you know, through somebody else's property. Lo and behold, the, the, uh, the guy that owns every bit of land around you and the easement that your driveway goes through, he comes over there and he starts just moving machinery around. You had a backhoe, all this crap. Literally, the... People are selling the house had the house right close to the property line in the driveway and he starts moving stuff around you know we go talk to him and he's like oh I've been in a feud with this guy for years I'm building a sawmill right next to his house on my property and I'm gonna do stuff all around his property you know so it was like he was literally the Hatfields and McCoys and we're like wow you know this you know so you don't want that property even though it was the most epic property I've ever seen in my life I wish I could have bought it I would have loved it but I didn't want to be dealing with that type of a neighbor. I mean, most rural neighbors are good, but just the way this guy was, my guess is he wants that guy's property and he will do whatever it takes until the guy just tanks and gives it away because, um, you know, you'll you'll run into that. Um, all kinds of stuff. I mean, uh, you know, the, you know, uh, basements. You know, you want a basement. Uh, some parts, they're too mountainous. Uh, can't get a basement weather um you know all kinds of things there's um sorry something just popped. i'm using my phone and i apologize if i didn't do this with my phone right now i wouldn't do another video for like three months i've just been so busy i had the day off today and i had to do breaks on a couple of our vehicles because you know the maintenance i'm just falling behind on everything those guys that do homesteading and and put videos every week bravo to you i don't i don't know how the heck you do it i have no free time um and we just have a small homestead. I, I don't know how they how they do it. I really don't. 
um, bravo to you. Like, I, really, um, I don't know. I, because I, we have this, I still have a job. You know, it's like, I just, it's tough. It's really tough. And um, that's one thing you got to th consider too. Uh, if you don't work remote, a lot of these rural properties that we're looking at, you will not, there's no jobs there. That's just the way it is. And it's one of the things you're going to have to look at and consider, you know. So you need to make a checklist. Uh, we have a, an, ex an Excel spreadsheet with kind of like a SWOT analysis, you know, strength, weaknesses, uh, that whole thing, threats, uh, opportunity, you know. Um, you need to kind of look at it in a uh, analytical way and really, really come down to your wants and needs and what can you live with and what can you live without. Because uh, chances are if you wait and try to wait for your perfect property, somebody will just buy it out from under you or you'll never find it. We keep finding properties that one property has the perfect house, but not the perfect land. And then we find the perfect land and not the perfect house. And our current property had the perfect land, not the perfect house. 10 years here, we really didn't change much in the house because, you know, putting in things, it just, uh, it's a lot of cost to do a lot of this stuff. Um, we looked at one house, believe it or not, had a bunker in it that wasn't listed and love the house absolutely love the house but it was a little close to a uh, touristy thing that you could see off in the distance and they could see you and they had the high ground and then uh, it was believe it or not it was really close to a cult a legit cult uh, you know that would be your neighbors so it was, it was pretty interesting but uh yeah and then uh, one of the things you got to consider too is uh, a lot of the properties we've been looking at rural properties are on gravel roads so I mean we've had to we took my wife's little Hyundai all-wheel drive car. We were driving through some of the roads. Went, we had to cross streams. I mean, literally, they put cement there, so you, you drive through, but you're driving through a, a foot of water. Uh, one of the switchbacks we went up to, the Hyundai, I mean, it lit up, the dash lit up like a Christmas tree, and the car just stopped. I had to put it in that locking, uh, it's like an e-locker. It, it doesn't do more than 25 miles an hour, and literally crawled up. I mean, it, it, it was you would need like a legit four-wheel drive with low range, you know. So that's one thing to consider, and that's an extra cost. Um, you are probably got to maintain it yourself, because I mean, a lot of the places we looked at, and this weather, I, I apologize if you can't hear me, this weather absolutely sucks too. That's another reason that's just screwing up everything of my time. Uh, it's been just the strangest, weirdest, worst weather. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just so many things you gotta consider. You know, so I'm going to cut this short here because you probably can't even hear me anymore because of the rain. But uh, I just wanted to give a quick update, let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm going to try to get some, some more videos out soon. Um, and uh, until then, hopefully uh, maybe rewatch some of the old videos or pass them to a friend. But uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get a better video on buying rural land because there's a lot of things you need to consider um, when doing this. And now that we're doing it again, a lot of our original checklist we've been using again and it's you know it it's very helpful but it's at the same time it is a struggle it's gonna take you know we've been doing this now for a couple months and it's we're still have not found what we want so and uh, the thing you got to consider too is uh, don't settle um, you know or maybe you, you don't want to wait and you're gonna you know settle but uh, until next time uh, Thanks for watching and I uh, hope to do some better videos soon. Thanks.